Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for June. Now, keep in mind that this is for June, okay? Could happen at any time in June. Could be happening now, but it really is for June. Uh, I have done two May readings already. If you want to catch those, I, they will be tagged at the end. What do we have for Cancer? We're going to take that one right there. bag looks like a money bag to me something important such as such as a new job or raise now something important doesn't have to be a new job or a raise it's something important okay has to do with money so this this is money related in some way Cancer. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Yes, this is it. Ooh, this is only lust. You may be involved with something that is only lust. You know, I got to show you what's on the bottom, considering what that card says unfaithful we have somebody here that is not being faithful what do we have for cancer sun moon rising in venus you got to be careful you got to be careful you may be dealing with somebody that is attached or you may be attached you know this reading can go vice versa as well Obviously, when you get that word unfaithful and lust is right before it, it doesn't look good. So, um, somebody's probably not telling the truth about a partnership situation that they are attached to. Star card. Star is a card of hope and wish fulfillment. So, this is a wish being granted. It is a faith. It is a need to have faith. This is a blessing in disguise after the tower falls. So you may, you know, there could be a tower moment because the star comes after the tower. So there could be a tower moment and it is a blessing in disguise. You may have to have faith that everything happens for a reason. I feel like, uh, I feel like you've been hoping and praying for something, but you may be involved with something that, uh, is false because a tower is false and tower comes before the star card so i think that you're involved in something that is false or you have been and i feel like there is going to be or there is some sort of uh event that reveals some sort of truth that is actually a blessing in disguise um, death in reverse on the bottom now that is holding on is getting old this is a disaster an accident an, inst an incident um, a destruction so there I do believe that there is uh, something that needs to end that hasn't ended yet you may be dealing with it in the very very near future let's get one of these what do we have for cancer star is a blessing in disguise so a blessing is coming but it's in disguise okay a blessing in disguise so there's i believe that you are in a situation that is untrue mm. there we go listening listening we're gonna read it See if we can get that to uh, focus. A solitary winged maiden reclines in the canopy of a woodland glade. Her replescent wings turn inward as she purposely takes time to engage in listening to the songs of her feathered friends, the birds. In this modern age, more and more emphasis is placed on the role of speaking out. But few people take the time to truly give of themselves by practicing their forgotten art of listening to one another. The deeper implication means we have forgotten how to listen to ourselves, the wisdom which comes from our heart and our connection to nature. 
An old Italian proverb, proverb says, from listening comes wisdom. When we truly listen, we can learn a great deal. In times of crisis, we seek out wise people, those who by virtue of listening have earned the right to be heard. In, addi in addition to listening to others, the intimate art develops a willingness to listen within, to the ever-present forces of the conscience of the soul and to the voice of Mother Nature. There is no place for loneliness if we allow ourselves to truly listen to their wisdom. By, dry, by drawing this card, the higher power urges you to be open, responsive, and present in your approach to life. By listening carefully, you will not only gain new insight and perspective, but also bequeath others, or bequeath others with one of the most precious gifts of all, listening. And it's something that we forget to do. All of us do. We just want to be heard so much that we do not listen. So this is going to be time a time of listening and observing and um, getting, getting out there in the nature so that you can actually do that. Like go sit under a tree, go sit by the water alone, okay, so that you can receive the messages that you need to receive. Um, so that you can hear them. So that, that's a message that you need to hear. Okay? There is a message that you need to hear. And you're not hearing it. And some of you already don't like what I'm saying. You're not hearing it. You need to hear it. You have a new opportunity in the future. Right now, you're in a situation that is just lust. And lust could be a job. Okay, money is lust. Okay, you got to have it. That's lust. You're lusting for something. You're desiring something, right? There's something that you are involved in, whether it's a money situation or it's a relationship situation that is just lust. It's not going to bring you emotional fulfillment. There's going to be a tower moment. I know that there is. I don't need the card. We might get it, but I'm telling you what there's going to be. All right, and then, and then there's unexpected help that is arriving. This is a blessing in disguise after the tower falls, okay? There's some sort of false foundation or false sense of security that you are holding on to, and it is getting old, and it's needed to end for a while. And you haven't been listening. And I've already pissed some of you off. I don't want to hear it. What do we have for cancer? This is actually a wish that is being fulfilled. A wish for abundance. Abundance isn't in fake shit. Five of Pentacles. Now that is uh, insecurity, insecure, not accepting help. There's help available, but not accepting help. Being led by the blind. It's the blind leading the blind here. We have we have one person that is allowing themselves to be led. When there is help available, they're allowing themselves to be led in the wrong direction by an individual that has a victim mentality. This is, this is like uh, refusing, refusing. I'm not going to ask for help. I'm not going to get help. And, and, and listening to some poor advice as well. couple of fives here so five five that's unexpected change expect the unexpected this is this is a change that is needed when you get two fives I feel like you need to walk away from a situation that you can't win it's like and it's like I want to win I want to win if you can't win you know whatever you can't win the best thing to do is to walk away 
and do not let yourself be led down a path by somebody that does not have good intentions. I feel like there's somebody here that doesn't have good intentions, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. Okay? There's there's challenges here. There's power struggles. There is. We got somebody here that has a big ego. They have a big ego. There's help available. There's an opportunity for peace. There's an opportunity for warmth and for things to get better. But this is a refusal. Nope. Not going to accept it. I'm not, not going to ask. This is a fight. There's some sort of serious battle here as far as I'm concerned. It's time to let go of the old and bring in the new. Okay, I think that you're going to be dealing with some sort of conflict this month. I feel like there's going to be an argument. I do. I feel like there's going to be an argument with somebody that you are dealing with. And, and the only thing to do is to walk away. But I feel like you, you, you are choosing to stay. It's like a hardship. This is, it's really hard to deal with. You know, this is, this is, uh, a need, a need to, uh, I don't know, I think it's ask for help. Help is available, but there's refusal to ask for help. This is like, I think you need, there's some sort of counsel here that is needed and it's available, but it's refusing it, refusing to listen. Anyhow, expect the unexpected changes coming, okay? Because you can't keep living like this. You can't, you can't, it's not healthy. This is definitely unhealthy. Oh my God. Now we got that third five, 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 five. Expect the unexpected. This is a separation of some sort. There is going to be a separation. Five of Cups is crying over the spilled milk, a breakup, um, this is a hostile situation. This is walking away. This is, I think that you have been focusing on something that is cold. Okay. Look at how cold it is right here. It's gone. It's cold. You know, there's an opportunity for, uh, love because the two of cups is over here, but you're missing it. You're missing an opportunity for love. It's like, you got to stop focusing on the past or focusing on this is like a graveyard right it's to me that's what i just heard graveyards like going back going back to the site of the to the site you know going back to whatever this is you need to turn around and walk away you need to turn around and go in another direction what are you waiting for why are you allowing yourself to be led down this path why are you continuing to go in this direction you're choosing to allow it you're you're there's abuse here there's mental abuse there's verbal abuse whether it's you or somebody that you this could be for the cross watcher as well there's some sort of abuse here okay and this is a serious serious conflict struggle change that is needed there's an opportunity for a union here for a partnership that will be emotionally fulfilling if you could just walk away if you could turn around and and look in another direction you have to go in another direction you do 555 five, five is actually positive change okay you have a positive change that is waiting for you it's waiting for you to take action but you're not even hearing you're not even hearing what you need to do because you're so stuck you're so 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 stuck uh, it feels like you've got an individual that is leading you down the wrong path. They've been belittling you or they've been abusing you or they've been stepping on your toes and saying a lot of mean things and making you feel like you can't do this and you can't do that. You know, they've made you insecure They and it's because they like the control and the power over you. You know, they have control. They have the power. And it feels like you've let, you've let the, your emotions get the best of you. And I feel like it is really, really, really time for you to uh, focus on the future. Stop looking back. Stop looking back. You keep on looking back at something. Stop looking back. And do not let this person lead you away. They're leading you in the wrong direction. You're allowing it. You are allowing somebody to lead you down the wrong path. Or this, Like I said, this could be for the cross watcher here. But 555 is expect the unexpected. I feel like there is some definite instability here. This is some, there is something that is really, 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 really not healthy that you have been focusing on that you need to let go of. 
And there's an opportunity for love that is waiting for you to see it. It is waiting for you. It's waiting. It's right here. But I feel like your emotions have got the best of you. Um, injustice. <clears throat> Justice reverse. This is an injustice. This is unfair. This is karma. Um, a, fa a decision that is not going in somebody's favor. This is uh, a karmic contract that needs to end. We have a karmic contract that needs to end, but there's refusing to walk away. And there's a need to walk away. A decision needs to be made, but there's definitely struggle. Big, huge. Five, five, five is power struggles. You're really, really struggling to walk away and to accept the truth. This is like a court ruling or a legal loss that is going against you or, you know, a karmic law that is going against you. This is not being happy with an, uh, with an outcome. Um, an argument with no resolution in sight. Three of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, are extremely depressed, ill. I think we have somebody here that is stressed out, They're, it's affected their health, it, focusing on this emotional turmoil, and this is emotional turmoil, has really affected somebody's health. There's a need to, to uh, work together with somebody else. I do, and I really, really see that as well. I feel like uh, there's a need to uh, expand, expand in some way. There's an opportunity that has been missed to work together with new people. This may have to do with a move. You could move and work someplace else where there's more respect, where you can use your skills. Um, but I feel like this is, you're in an extremely stressful situation right now where there's a lot of belittling. There's some sort of mental abuse. And like I said, this could be for the cross watcher. There's, there's, uh, there's some sort of unfaithfulness here as well. There's uh, a lack of integrity. Somebody's not telling the truth. They, and it feels like you're somebody in this predicament, whether it's you or the cross watcher, is wearing a blindfold, choosing not to see the truth. It's like, no, I'm just gonna pretend that everything's okay, because I want to. I want to. I want to say fake. You know, I feel like we have somebody here that just, and, and the eyes are, you know, open your eyes, please. Open your eyes. Anyhow, I feel like you are really focusing on something, you know, you're crying over a loss, you know, you're pining over a loss when there's an opportunity for love here, okay? Or you're staying with somebody um, just to prove a point, you know, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to prove, or, or it could be, like I said, it could be the other person. Somebody is staying in a predicament or in a situationship just to prove that they can win, just to prove that they don't, they're not going to be alone, you know. But there's a lack of integrity. There's a, there's a lack of truth. Somebody is definitely not telling the truth. They're being led down a path that is destructive. I know that this is destructive. I feel like there's a lot of stress here. This is illness. This is extremely uh, unhealthy, a very unhealthy, unbalanced situation here. There's an, there's, in the future, I do believe that you are going to be working together with somebody else where you will be respected, but it's not until you stand up and you look in that direction. And I don't think that you've been there yet. I don't, and some of you have. This reading will not be for everybody. That's another thing people don't get. If it, you say one thing they don't like, they're like, oh, then the reading wasn't for you. Then you aren't very spiritually awakened if you don't get that. Anyhow, um, expect the unexpected. Your life is about to change. Somebody... Uh,
Somebody may also have some regrets. There could be somebody here that has a lot of regrets. They, they are losing sleep. They are losing a lot of sleep for how they treated you. And I think that's another message for somebody else. You need to be very, very, very careful because, and that's part of the message. Do not let somebody come back around that has mistreated you. Oh, that is the message. That is the message. There is somebody here that I think that is going to come back around. That death card reversed as well. I do believe there is somebody that has hurted you, that has mistreated you, that has put you down, that has belittled you, that has treated you unfairly and abandoned you, that is going to come back around. And you're going to need to be very, very, very careful with this. Now, this could be a previous job old opportunity or a previous previous partner. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Could be dealing with a Libra. Could be also dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That's what I think. I feel as though uh, you are going to have an opportunity to work with somebody, but it could it's probably a third party situation, and I see that in several different areas. So I feel like you 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 need to be very, very, very careful because there's unfaithfulness. I saw that. I think that there is somebody that is coming back around that has cheated you in the past or they're in a relationship right now and they may be hiding it. This person um, probably is going to communicate with you. And if this is a work relationship, I feel like this is somebody that has neglected you in the past. They have, And this is sick. This, this makes me sick. Okay, it does. It makes me sick. And I think that this person has really affected your health, whether it's now or somebody in the past. Whatever is happening, this argument, what, where there's, no, there's an argument with no resolution in sight, is affecting somebody's health in a very big way. Here we go. Moving on. Six of Swords. It's time to move on, to go to a better place. We do have somebody here that is moving. They need to move. They need to go. They need to pack their things and leave, and, or that's what they're going to be doing. I do see traveling, moving, going to a better place, leaving behind the stress, leaving behind the argument, leaving behind the belittling, leaving behind the sadness and... Uh, Walking away. Somebody's leaving. Whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. There's no victory here. There's no success here. This is a loss. We have somebody here that is a one-hit wonder that doesn't follow through. That has an extremely big ego that definitely wants to win at all costs. And I think that you somebody's leaving they're moving they're moving moving away from a, a stressful situation that has nearly killed them because that's what i feel like i feel like it's very suffocating you know it's suffocating and i think there's a lot of regrets here a lot of what ifs what if i did this what if i do that will it come back around can i make it better no this right here in reversed is a no there's nothing you can do, okay? The answer is no. This is this isn't this is something that you need to move away from. And I do think that you are going to be moving. I think that you're going to whether however you see that, you know, moving to a better place, going to a better place, um traveling, working together with new people where you will be respected. Uh, going in a new direction. I feel like this is leaving behind a situation where there's been a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, and a lot of lies. A lot of lies. I think you were involved in a situation where, you know, you couldn't win no matter what. No matter what you did. And I think that you allowed yourself to stay in that situation for so long. It's time. It's time for you to stop procrastinating and go. Go, 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 go. Um, you're going to be going, and you may be receiving some help from somebody. Somebody may be, if, if this is money related, you may be receiving, you know, a new job offer or, 
you know, it feels like you're going to be receiving guidance or help from somebody that helps you to go to this better place, wherever it is that you're going. Um, I see you leaving behind this uh, hostile situation, whatever it is, and, and moving. Um, working with somebody else. Showing them what you got. Knight of Cups reversed. And then the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom. Which is this a cycle in, in your life that is ending. This is the end of a karmic cycle. Which I knew that it was. This is the end of a karmic cycle. The, cycle, the Wheel of Fate is spinning you in a new direction. This is a fortunate event. A for, but it is it is an unexpected event. You're gonna. It's a tower moment. Okay. Just so you know. Okay, that leads you to a better place. This is very fortunate, okay? So this is a fortunate change of events. This is good luck, being at the right place at the right time. This being at the right place at the right time is going to change your life for the better because 555 is a positive change. Trust me, it is, but it comes with conflict, okay? It's not an easy change, but it's a positive change, and this is a very fortunate situation, and your wishes are going to be fulfilled, but... You're, I mean, it's the wheel of fate, but there's free will involved. You have to make a move, okay? And I think that you have been stuck in a situation where you have not been respected at all. And I feel like it is time for you to move on. And I think that you've been struggling to move on um, and having a lot of regrets over making the decisions that you have made to get involved with this whole situation and thinking that it was your fault. And I don't think it's your fault. I think it's whoever, I mean, it could be, obviously. But, you know, it, it, it takes two to tango, okay? It's never just one person's fault. Anyhow, I do believe that you are uh, probably, this is an emotional situation, very emotional. I think this is, is, I feel like it's an emotional departure. I think it's hard. It's going to be hard on your heart. I feel like um, there is a team here. It's like this is a team effort. I feel like there's people that are going to be helping you to move to wherever it is that you need to go. And I think that this is just an emotional ending. Emotional ending that change is life changing. So anyway, Cancer, I feel like June is going to be a life changing month month for you. I think that there's going to be a faded event that moves you to a better place, um, probably against your your will. I mean, I hate to say that. Um, I think that you want to. I do. I feel like you want to, but I think that you haven't been able to for some reason. Um, because of the emotional attachment to whoever this person is that you're with. There's some sort of, but there isn't any love here, okay? There's not any love here. But there used to be, and I think that's part, that's what where we're at. So anyhow, I do believe that there is going to be an important move in the near future. Good luck.